the, the big, the really, by far the biggest differentiator for Tesla is autonomy. Uh, in addition to that, we, we have scale economies and we're the most efficient electric vehicle producer in the world. AI robotic stack, we're pursuing all of them. This allows for better cost control, more scale, quicker time to market, and a superior product. After two years since his bold vision of a fully autonomous vehicle, the journey has culminated into an astonishing reality. Tesla aims to deploy a fleet of a million robotaxis by the end of the decade, potentially making $20 billion annually and capturing 15% of the urban mobility market. With costs dropping by half compared to traditional ride-hailing services, we're not just getting a new way to travel, we've entered a new era of affordability. Get ready to experience the game-changing tech firsthand in today's episode of Tesla Car World. And thanks for being here. It's great to see you. The target plan for initial rollout is hot on the heels of Tesla's planned launch of RoboTaxi, which itself does not have a firm start date, but it's likely going to be in just some cities where regulations permit it, like California and Texas next year. These cities are strategically important for Tesla, as it's going to be closer for the technology and business model testing that they aim to put in with their vehicles. Even though Tesla may have to face some potential difficulties in similar states by starting its launch where it has more legal leeway, the company can bargain for a roadmap for other areas. Tesla's expected to launch RoboTaxi with a 10,000 strong fleet across time. 10,000 cars might not sound a lot like compared to Ubers, but the total rollout is still in its early stages. They could expand that quite quickly if things go well. Demand is where it should be, and most important of all, regulators join up. The first few years will be focused on demoing such vehicles that can go safely and efficiently in the real world. After establishing a major U.S. city, we can expect this to go international with more cities across the globe welcoming autonomous fleets. A big highlight of the robo-taxi service is going to be its cost-effectiveness. These operational costs are expected to be roughly half than what a traditional ride share is going to encounter. The depreciation in cost is like going from horse to car, and that could shift robo-taxis not only as just an affordable service for customers, but a favorable business model. Tesla, likewise, boldly is targeting a 30% share of global robo-taxis by 2030. And that's not easy, but Tesla also thinks it can get a big share of this fast-transforming market due to attendant demand for such automated ride-sharing services. The thing is, deploying a service like RoboTaxi is not just about the cars. Tesla knows that you got to have the infrastructure too, meaning that they'll be working with city governments to do the legwork. Dedicated lanes, charging stations, and maybe even new traffic laws to ensure that the vehicles go smoothly. That's what we're talking about here. Right now, the future of RoboTaxi is largely in the hands of the government. A forecasted $100 billion in autonomous vehicle infrastructure investment by 2030 is poised to stitch the backbone for broad adoption. Such funding would help establish an infrastructure of more resilient roads and offer the tech support needed for autonomous vehicles, in turn making it easier to be operated effectively by Tesla upon delivery. Actually, robotaxis are not just going to be buzzing around like any old Uber. Robotaxis are high-tech, fully autonomous vehicles, so even they need a dependable ecosystem to work with. Tesla will have to link these robotaxis with AI-based traffic management systems for smoother flow of traffic and reduce congestion. This is perhaps where collabos with cities is going to be critical. Tesla alone isn't doing this. They're teaming up with companies like NVIDIA to put the most advanced AI chips in their cars. This generation of chips will better handle this driving scenario is required to safely curb a self-driving robotaxi, as well as function quickly in emergencies with immediate hazard control autonomy and be more permanent overall. It's like giving every car a supercomputer brain, and one of the huge reasons Tesla's robotaxi will outperform. So after that, of course, the big question on all our minds is how the heck is Tesla going to get everybody on board with this? We're talking humans and everyone being a little bit queasy about whooping down alone in a car driven by no one. But Tesla sorted that out too. Well, early adopters are in for some great deals. Picture discounts on rides, priority access, and even referral rewards for those of you who refer your friends along to give it a go. 
Tesla excels at creating buzz, and will utilize that same playbook for robo-taxi rides to make them irresistible. And that's not all. Tesla's got a subscription model too, and this is where it gets crazy. You could pay a fixed monthly fee for all the robo-taxi rides you want. Forget about worrying over surge prices or whether you want your next ride to cost $10 versus $30 to the extent that you can actually predict the fares in an era of Uber's shifting rates. And that can be revolutionary for commuters in particular. Think about your commute to work without ever having to incur the fear of cost or burden of actually owning a car. Imagine hopping in a robo taxi. It's simple, it's practical, and not at all expensive to move. Experts estimate that robo taxi offerings could hit the streets by 2026 and 27. A few of them also think that the whole business could become a trillion dollar venture. Though these projections give us an optimistic future, Tesla needs more than anything to deliver on promises and stick to the timelines it lays down. But this success story was not plain sailing. As we saw with Cybertruck when announced in November 2019, things can change quite suddenly and life can throw some curveballs. We all know what went down six months later. The pandemic affected everything from lack of workers to disruption of supply chains. And that's why Tesla has to set aggressively tight timelines and also be ready for glitches too. Tesla will still need to stay on schedule in order to reassure investors. Indeed, several industry watchers believe that even if the robotaxi never hits the road for hire by 2027, so long as truly driverless vehicles can attain level 5 of self-driving autonomy, which is to say, no human intervention necessary, even just development on something like this also pushes us to take a leap or two of faith with Tesla's development. If Tesla can get through all the hoops and hurdles placed by government regulations, that is, putting self-driving cars on the public roadway, which is probably bound to raise highbrows from a handful of people at the minimum, but Tesla is cooperating with said regulators in order to make robo-taxis compliant with safety standards and legislation. Before the cars hit the streets, extensive safety tests will be conducted. Although Tesla cars are one of the safest, they have to undergo prime testing a program like Robotaxi to ensure it works ideally. They'll gather real-world data and use that feedback to further refine the system, ensuring each generation of Robotaxis is even better than the last. Tesla's also enhancing their FSD software, which could result in further improvements over the following years. Tesla can drive a car without humans to return itself with level 5 autonomy, according to Todd Richardson. Elon has been promising FSD from Tesla for years. Now, that's a lofty aspiration to be sure, but Tesla sounds pretty bullish on its ability to deliver it sooner than we might think. So, how will Tesla get to $1 trillion in the future? All right, looking closely at the numbers, Tesla expects its robotaxis to bring in $30 billion of revenue annually by the time 2025 rolls around. Not a small pile of money. For contrast, a single robotaxi could generate around 30 grand in gross profit a year. That is an investment. Let that sink in for a second. $1 trillion by next year is the estimate that some have made about how big the self-driving car market could become. If Tesla plays their cards right, it stands to dominate this automotive niche. Or the famed financial analyst Gene Muster, who envisions Tesla's robotaxi being worth a trillion dollars by 2030. So, if you were considering an investment in Tesla, right now could be the moment for it. Further, gorge level surveys led by folks at Pensco and Burren, over 70% say that they are interested in trying out a self driving ride sharing service. If there was ever a signal for Tesla, this was it. Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas contends that as soon as the government clears away those legal issues, consumers will be on board. And when it does, you better believe Tesla's market cap will too. Because anyone likes sitting in traffic, and if you can just tap an app on your phone for a robo-taxi to show up at the push of a button, positioning Tesla to have the absolute edge in the age of a new form of transportation due to their established brand and their innovative ways. It's as if they made this magic formula for achievement, and we're all deemed welcome to attend it in party mode. The global market is setting for Tesla in broader scope. According to the Wall Street Journal, Goldman Sachs predicts that by 2030, there's going to be a robo-taxi market with $2 trillion. That's one heck of a pie, and it appears that Tesla wants a pretty big piece. After the launch event on October 10th, Tesla stock, despite a slight short-term market decline, remains confident in its commitment to its vision of autonomous transportation. Tesla stock opened at 217.80 the following day, and Tesla stock price recovered on October 13th. Two days later, the shares ended the last trading session 0.17% higher at 218.16. 
By 2027, the company aims to have these vehicles ready for production, with a stronger version of FSD leading the way. Tesla also wants to work more closely with regulators to address safety concerns over the coming years. While the stock may have some volatility, Tesla continues pushing forward, supported by strategic partnerships, especially in AI and battery development. Analysts are cautiously optimistic about Tesla's long-term prospects, thinking that the company's on track to revolutionize transport through autonomous vehicles, even if there are significant hurdles to be overcome. Betting against Tesla has historically been a bad one, and many maintain confidence in Elon's ability to deliver. How special did RoboTaxi appear? Tesla finally unveiled the long-promised RoboTaxi Cybercab October 10th at its We Robot event in LA. Well, we just say this is not an, any old futuristic taxi either. This often pictured self-driving yellow cab looks kind of like a cross between a DeLorean and a DMC-12, which is the future of moving everyday people. Elon promised that Cybercab production will start the year after next and will be priced at less than 30 grand. For a vehicle that states it'll disrupt the market with fully autonomous driving, some crazy innovation that 90 cents a mile between cities and we're graced by its presence, heck yes. But that price isn't just raising eyebrows. Cybercab's got some seriously impressive tack jammed inside its smooth, flat body. Bold and beautiful, it may look like a miniaturized version of Tesla's controversial Cybertruck, but the design of Cybercab is more than skin deep, more delicate than that, and it nearly associates Cybertrucks blended with the soft lines of Tesla's cars. And if that's not enough, the whole car is swathed in this metallic, shiny gold, announcing to the world that it's what millions of people are going to one day use to get around it. The stainless steel details are additional elements that help ensure the car remains serviceable day in and day out as befitting of a taxi running 24-7. The front end, meanwhile, complements a hidden weaved lower fascia and an enormous windshield that gives the car its classy yet modern appearance. The true magic, however, is in here. It's got no steering wheels or pedals. Yeah, it's a fully autonomous service called CyberCAD that drives itself. And there's not ordinary doors either. Butterfly doors are a lot stronger in design. When you park in tight spaces like crowded lots or narrow garages, traditional doors need a lot of side room to open. You often got to squeeze out or risk hitting the car next to you. In contrast, butterfly doors open upwards, DeLorean style, requiring less clearance, making getting in and out a lot easier, even in cramped, busy city streets. They reduce the chance of blocking pedestrians or hitting passing cars, and let's be honest, they just look really cool. Butterfly doors give you that futuristic premium vibe that attracts attention, adding an extra of touch and prestige and uniqueness that appeals to us car lovers. While contemporary space dwell seats, Behind them, plenty of luggage space that makes the Cybercab trunk look awesome. Great for luggage or the weekly shop, although Tesla didn't release specifics regarding the dimensions of Cybercab's interior and cargo space. Videos and images posted by attendees suggest it's got a bigger cargo area that could be bigger than what's offered in Model 3. Even more surprising, it cleans itself. Tesla's thought of everything here. The image of the cleaning robot entered by itself on one of its futuristic promotion blurbs is a hilarious sight with Cybercab pulling over to a charging station. It comes through, cleans up your screens. Think of stepping right into a pristine cab without considering the espresso stain from the previous rider. The system's perfect for a vehicle that's going to be running all the time. And Tesla says part of the reason it can sell Cybercab at a price that low is because it's managed to develop it with fewer components. Unlike Model 3, which needed about 16 pieces to make up the body, Cybercab only needs 11, with each vehicle assembly costing a lot lower, like 31% than previously. And that efficiency is key to Tesla's broader plan of mass making these cars and using them for ride-hailing fleets. And just in case you were wondering, they've streamlined some of the bodywork like the front and rear bumpers, the hood and and side panels, two doors, side rear panels, roof and trunk, and two side pillars. It should come as no shock that a magic taxi powered entirely by electrons would bear the Tesla badge. And here's the twist. It's got no charging port. No NACS plug here. Tesla has instead gone all in with induction charging. It's like your overpriced wireless phone charger, but for a car. It takes only 15 minutes for the Cybercab to fully recharge, which, get this, gives over 200 miles of driving range. Firstly, Tesla has been developing this technology for quite some time now, and they even have acquired a company named Wyferion to assist with wireless charging. 
All you need to do is pull up the cyber cap and park it over top a charging pad when it's time for the juice. No messy cables, no fuss. Naturally, the big bang on this list is full self-driving. Tesla is shooting for entirely unsupervised driving sans radar or LiDAR, just cameras and AI. Now, this might seem like a bit of a scary proposition to rely on AI software to navigate your roads for you, but Tesla's been continually improving its systems over years. Indeed, next year, both states, California and Texas, are going to see real-world testing of full self-driving, so things are definitely happening. Actually, CyberCab is not solely meant to attract geeky adopters. Tesla is actually going to let normal people buy these vehicles with a little rev share set up for all the miners. You can lease out your CyberCab to a ride-hailing fleet, and Tesla takes 30% of the earnings while you take home 70%. This is definitely not a bad way to add an extra $200 to $500 per month. At present, Tesla is only displaying the driverless version of CyberCab. However, a version with steering wheel and pedals has been rumored to be in the works. This will be a very popular model in Asian and possibly European markets, where driver's control is still highly thought of. But Tesla's plans for CyberCab go well beyond just a drawing board. Unfortunately, the car is set to be based on their unboxed manufacturing process and manufactured at Giga Texas. Musk declined to specify a start of production date or when this first cars will come off, but he's targeting 2027. We want to ask you, what do you think about Tesla's recent volatility? What are you most looking forward to after experiencing the Wii Robot event? We'd be happy if you let us know your thoughts on this, and we hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after checking out this video. If you do, please press that like button and join the Tesla car world by subbing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon so you stay tuned for any fantastic vids coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you back here soon. Until then, stay safe, take care, and God bless. Bye.